We're not in the Louvre today, although we will be discussing a couple very interesting works. Some say that El Anatsui's works are merely crafts, although others will strictly reinforce Anatsui's works as beautiful art that provides not only a small history of his culture's background, but also stirs up a controversy about many things such as global consumerism. El Anatsui was born in Ghana and grew up intrigued with art. He attended and trained at the College of Art, University of Science and Tech in Kumasi, Ghana, as well as taught at the University of Nigeria in Suka. In his early works, he used wood as a preferred medium. He would take a chainsaw vigorously to the wood, creating early abstract art. Later on, he preferred recycled liquor bottle caps and labels. He would connect them using copper wire. These works would go on to resemble that of kente cloth, which was an African art style that was woven cloth often including silk and gold to represent royalty and the Ashanti control of the gold trade. Anatsui would use gold as well to give a sense of royal reverence and authority. The first work we will cover will be Anatsui's Old Man's Cloth. And while this work in person looks much like textile, it is really recycled liquor bottle caps and labels. Anatsui loved this medium because it reminds viewers of not only his, but many Africans history. Liquor was brought from Europe to Africa for trade, although it soon became an item used in the transatlantic slave trade. Rum was made in the West Indies and then sent to Liverpool, eventually making it to Africa. The bottle caps capture light off of all angles, creating luminescent colors recalling colonial pasts of Ghana, Anatsui's homeland. Old man's cloth is not flat against the wall, but pinned up, almost wave-like, reminding viewers of the Atlantic Ocean where slave ships sailed. The name of Anatsui's old man's cloth may confuse some because the work does not include cloth, although El Anatsui titles it this to reference the textile art traded in late African societies. Many cannot decide whether El Anatsui is a contemporary or abstract artist, although really he is both. Anatsui's old man's cloth is both abstract and contemporary because of its resemblances to African kente cloth, but also abstract because of its lack of strict depiction of anything particular. Anatsui's works were always changing. When he traveled for art shows, he would remove and reinstall the work somewhere else, although he allowed others to install his works for him and pin them the way they liked. He did this to give them a sense of artistic freedom. El Anatsui once said, A human life is constantly in a state of change. I want my artwork to replicate that. I know there is an artist in each of us, and the idea of giving freedom to people to configure my works is to awaken the artist within them. The work itself is not arranged any specific way, color-wise or installation-wise. It includes a variety of colors including black, gold, red, and silver. Old Man's Cloth is also quite larger than some may expect, coming out to be about 16 feet by 17 feet, although this is due to change depending on the installer's choice. The question is often asked, are Anatsui's works sculptures or paintings? As they are hung upon the wall like a painting, although there were no boundaries or categories in the classic African tradition, which was different than Western art in the way that there were distinctions such as arts and crafts, or high art and low art. Although, Old Man's Cloth was more of a sculpture including rigid formed edges and sharp corners, hills, and valleys. Another work of art from El Anatsui we will look at is called Gravity and Grace, which is very similar to Old Man's Cloth in look, but slightly different in function. El Anatsui used Gravity and Grace to really emphasize that he wanted his works to be a communal piece, works everybody could take part in because that's how it was in classical Africa. The entire community would come together to work on textiles such as kente cloth. Gravity and grace using the same medium of bottle caps and labels transcends Onitsui's cultural influences to embody universal meanings. Gravity and grace reaches out to represent the beauty, labor, intensive process, and metaphorical and poetic meaning. This work also shares function with Old Man's Cloth in the way that they remind the viewer of African history. The work is unique in the way that it is contradictory to itself. It looks light, although it is heavy, and in some areas, the caps are extremely bright from capturing the light, and in other areas, the shadows are as black as night. 
gravity and Grace's name really represents itself in size. It is more than 10 feet by 30 feet, and yet it looks to be as light as a feather. The work, as large and as heavy as it is, does not hang as if it is hundreds of pounds, but hangs as if it is a feather. At each art show, Onatsui allows staff members to install the art the way they like, giving them full artistic freedom. Therefore, gravity and Grace's form was constantly changing. El Onatsui's art brings out social controversies such as consumerism and artistic controversies such as whether or not his art is abstract or contemporary. It also brings the question of do his works represent his time, place, or both? Also, how do they compare to other African art? Anatsui is a renowned African contemporary artist with a passion of using recycled materials in new controversial art.